We have our pan seared salmon with our fresh pineapple and mango salsa. Our wild rice blend with spinach and corn. My name is Scott Boslovich. On Wild Things Show. You won't believe how great you could cook wild game. But first we need to cook off the wild rice blend. And all you have to do is follow the directions on the box. I, I prefer to do it in the oven. That way I can work on the rest of the entree while the rice is cooking. So what do we got here? Two and a quarter cups, two and a half cups of water. It's easy, you just follow the directions right on the back of the box. I'm gonna just stir that up a little bit, get the seasoning packet mixed in there. Cover it with tin foil. Pop it in the 350 degree oven. We'll set the timer for 25 minutes. In the meantime, we're gonna skin our salmon. What you do is you grab a hold of the tail and you slip the knife right underneath the skin, right between the skin and the meat. You pull back on the tail and you run your knife right along. And I'll take the skin right off. This one's being a little stubborn. Sometimes you need to just poke a hole in it so you have a place to put your finger through. If it won't allow you to grab the skin. Let's see how we did. Not bad. Looks good, and you just double check for bones. We got a couple of scales on here, so what I'm gonna do is just quick rinse it off. Now we had this in the freezer from last fishing season. So we pulled it out yesterday and thawed it in the refrigerator overnight. It's perfect right now. The salmon's gonna taste so great with the fresh salsa on there. Here we got bones. Okay, we're gonna take the skin off this one too. All right, we did a nice job on that one too. It all came off in one piece. Just a little spot right here. You can check for bones. Oh, you can feel a bunch of them here. You just take your needle nose pliers and you just run your hand across and you can see the bones stand up. You just pull them right out. Worst thing in the world is to get a piece of fish at the dinner table, take a bite out of it and have bones in it. So make sure you get them all. It's not hard, they're, they come out, they're real fine white fish bones. See as I come across. Okay. As I come across, I'm pulling out one bone right after another. It's real easy to do. Rather than cut a deep vein in there to get them out, I'm saving an awful lot of meat here. You get the idea. You can go at a pretty good clip once you got it, once you got the rhythm down. If you pull them out rather than cut them out, you don't waste any of the nice salmon. There, I think we got them all. 
I'll just throw those away so they don't end up in anything. And we'll rinse this off. There, that way if we have any fish scales on it, I've gotten rid of them. I don't want them to end up in our meal. We're gonna start by heating up the pan with a medium heat. We'll put a little olive oil in there. In the meantime, let's, let's get some marinade ready. What we'll do is we'll put a little olive oil in there. A little lemon juice. Some seasoned salt. I like to use the Penzi's a little bit spicy seasoned salt. Some black pepper. We're gonna put this parsley in, chop it up. We're gonna do here is we're gonna cut our salmon into pieces. This is easily feed two people or or three if you were putting it on a salad. What I do is I'm gonna cut it on a slight angle here because what it what I'm gonna do what I'm doing is I'm making all the pieces the same thickness so that they cook at the same temperature for the same amount of time approximately. Another pan hot. Yeah, it's getting there. We'll toss these in the marinade, let them sit for a minute. There you go, almost here. Our tail piece is a little bit thinner, so I'm going to just wait a minute or two to let these get a good start. And I can turn this down now so that, so that the oil doesn't splash you. Because it'll start to pop if it's a little too hot. All right, now I'm going to put that smaller piece in because these pieces have had a chance to start cooking. You want to make sure you don't overcook your fish. As it's cooking, you as it's cooking, you'll be able to tell. All you have to do is press on it a little bit, and you'll see the fish start to separate. You know that it's more than done. As soon as the the fat and the oil starts coming out through the fish, you know that it's done. So we have a real nice base going here. We're going to just flip these pieces over. Now would be a good time to season it up with a little more salt and pepper. Now at this point what you can do is you could just pop it in the oven and let it finish up with your rice. That way, that way they would both be done at the same time. I started this about 15 minutes after my rice went in, just so I could time it out so that it all comes out together. I took the pan off the heat to slow it down a little bit because I need to cut, I need to make the pineapple, the, pine, the pineapple and mango salsa. And we're gonna start off with a, a mango, some pineapple. Let's trim this up quick. Cut the ends off, and then I go straight down along the edge here, and you can see you can see the spots give you kind of a, a guideline on where to cut. I just kind of go right around, make it simple. Take a look at your pineapple. If you have any spots left, just dig those out. Take care of this. Get 
Now what I'm doing is I'm cutting the core out of the pineapple. I just set it on an angle and then I catch the knife right, right along the white edge here of the core. And I just cut the core out. And I'm gonna do a kind of a fine dice. Same thing to the mango. Mangoes are ripe when they're nice and soft. Obviously you don't want it mushy, but you want it nice and soft. Press down with your finger on the outside and the skin and it'll, and it'll stay in. pit inside a mango is kind of flat, which I'll show you in a second. Don't worry if you struggle peeling them, just do your best. Make sure you get all the peel off. Nobody will be able to tell if your, if your mango is all hacked up or not because we're going to dice it up anyways. See the white pit in there? You can see that it makes a, st a straight line. I'm just going to take the knife on one side of it, come right down. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to cut a flat spot on the bottom because it's not behaving. There, now I'll stand up for me. Straight down. And then I'm going to take the two sides off. Actually, there isn't much on there. And there, you got all the nice meat in the pit. Dice that up. This mango is really nice. I love you. I love making this salsa. I put it on top of fish. I put it on top of chicken. Just wonderful. You make this all year because mangoes and pineapples in Wisconsin are available all year. Do a little red onion in there. Get the peeling off. Make sure you get all of this. Make sure you get all the skin off because this is really tough and it'll be nasty in there if you leave it on. that the same so it all matches. Now I am, um, I don't like as much jalapeno as some people. You can add as much heat as you want or as little as you want. I'm going to put in a small amount because I like a small amount of heat. Now one, one thing you don't want to do is touch your face or rub your eyes after you touch the, the jalapeno. And the hard, hot part of the jalapeno is the seeds. So like for me, that'll be a plenty. Cutting board back for doing the cilantro is, when you cut up cilantro and parsley and basil and fresh herbs, they tend to stain your cutting board. And rather than have my butcher block top stained, I'd rather use the cutting board. And we're just gonna dice that up real fine. Fresh cilantro makes great salsa, and it's cheap too. It's only like 60 cents a head. And it goes a long way. Got chopped up nice. 
We'll slide that in. season up our mango and pineapple salsa. We're going to add a little bit of fresh garlic. We'll add some seasoned salt. Cumin. Quite a bit of cumin. Some cracked pepper, peppercorns. And a little bit of olive oil. And then to sweeten it up, we're gonna add a little bit of honey. And a touch of lime juice. Stir that all up and we have nice, nice pineapple mango salsa. We'll let that rest while we get the rest of the meal ready. All right, now we're going to take out our rice. Check that. See how it's doing. Not quite done, we'll have to pop that back in for a couple minutes. See how it still has quite a bit of water? That's all right, I'll give us time to get the rest of the stuff ready for it. We'll put that in, and then we'll just pop our fish in to heat that back up so it's all finished at the same time. I'm using about a cup and a half of frozen corn, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna defrost that in the microwave. Finish our rice, I'm going to grab some fresh spinach. And I'm just going to julienne that up. Roasted salmon with a fresh pineapple and mango salsa. We're going to work on our rice that we started earlier. We cooked the rice blend. Now we're just going to fix it up a little bit. We're going to add a handful of chopped spinach and a half a cup of corn, frozen corn that I heated up in the microwave. And we'll just stir that in. Stir that in, and the heat from the rice will cook the spinach and heat up the corn the rest of the way. Give it a little bit of extra spice. We're going to put a little cumin in there, some seasoned salt. Kind of bring all the flavors together. There, that looks great, don't you think? It wasn't that difficult. We just added a little bit of spinach and a little bit of corn, and now it's not that same old boring uh, rice from out of the box. People will think it's really special. If you have sun-dried tomatoes or diced um, red peppers, you can add those into this. Anything to 
anything to just fix it up and make it a little bit different. So life isn't boring. All right. So we'll start off by putting some, putting a nice bed of rice down. salmon. Notice I notice I used a pan that didn't have the plastic handle on so when I put it in the oven it didn't melt. This is about five minutes in the oven. Then we'll just put the pieces of salmon like this. We'll put a little bit of our fresh Salsa on top. Making sure I get a little bit of that juice because that juice is what's going to make all the flavor. Here we go. We have our pan seared salmon with our fresh pineapple and mango salsa. Our wild rice blend with spinach and corn. My name is Scott Boslovich on Wild Things Show. Become a wild game cooking master by watching our professional chefs show us how to prepare outstanding wild game meals, desserts, and side dishes. Thanks for watching the Wild Things Show Cooking Wild Game. This is Rich McNutt. Enjoy.